So what if these libtards, if these liberals, if these leftists think that, you know, you're a threat to, to democracy or you're a threat to the public. You're a super spreader. You're the reason why we're still in lockdown. Who cares what they think, right? These people are deranged. These people are evil. Look at what they're willing to do to a kid in his family. You can't give these people any room, right? You know, the common expression, take it with a grain of salt. Take it with no grains of salt. Don't even listen to it. Don't even give them a time, the time of day. Their opinion does not matter. We have to fight them on things like this. It's a black and white issue, right? This is a black and white issue. If you're not willing to stand up against the globalists, then you are complicit. It's quite simple, right? You know, I can just, I can just see it now. I can just hear it right now. Libertarians are gonna start to argue. Well, this is it's there. It's Ronald McDonald's property. Ronald McDonald can do whatever he wants with it. It's not right. It's not moral, but that's his property or whatever, right? These people just simply do not understand. successful political tactic right they just simply do not get it and that's a major issue people that don't get it to me it's just it's super eerie to think about ronald mcdonald you know this character growing up that you become very familiar with everybody in in, in the west especially down south in america becomes familiar with ronald mcdonald and you're going to mcdonald's you're going to the play place you're going into the ball pit you know, back in my day, back in my day, they had those, like, video game centers with the N64s. And, you know, you'd go up, you'd get a Happy Meal. And you'd go up and you play, like, N64 for, like, an hour while your parents just, like, talked with other parents. <laughs> and they used to have those big statues of Ronald McDonald, too, right, at, at the McDonald's. It's not even just Ronald McDonald. You know, they're using Elmo. They're using Elmo in Sesame Street and other children's shows. It's baked into even any, like, teenager shows, right? I was watching, um, you know, I was kind of hate watching this, this movie. Well, what's it called? It, it's that new movie that's out on Netflix uh, with Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence and it's about like that comet. They 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 discover that meteor that's going to hit Earth and it's going to blow up Earth. And they're trying to warn everybody. And it's this lib shit movie about how science deniers are running rampant and they're not listening to the scientists. It's all it's basically a COVID narrative. They just substitute COVID for an end of the world scenario like a meteor. It's a completely lib shit movie. But you know, I was I when when I was reading this, I kind of thought back to that movie because in in the movie, Leonardo DiCaprio plays this scientist who's trying to warn everybody, and he's going on these kids shows. He's going on like Sesame Street in the movies, talking about the science to the kids. It's state propaganda. It's state propaganda, dude. Like people that don't understand this and. For example, even in real life, when you see like Neil deGrasse Tyson or Bill Nye the Science Guy, that's state propaganda. That isn't some innocent character on a children's TV show talking about something. That is indoctrination. That is propaganda. That is them brainwashing your kids. And it's gross how, you know, these journalists, how 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 the media, how these politicians utilize children's shows to do to do just that. You know, it, it's bad enough that everybody in Hollywood, whether it's singers, actors, it's bad enough how they influence the public and they influence kids, especially teenagers, to think a certain way, right? But indoctrinating kids, throwing globalist propaganda at children, the exact same way that the LGBTQ movement does it, by the way, that's a whole other level. That's a whole other level of, of manipulation, of propaganda. Yet it's a, it's a effective globalist tool, right?
You can't say it's not effective. It's very effective. It's extremely effective. Just look at how our generation has grown up, right? We've endured a lot of globalist propaganda. Zoomers, Gen Z. We've endured a lot of globalist propaganda. And of course, you know, we're very polarized and the high IQ people will get it and they'll come to our side and they'll become right-wing extremists and, you know, literally Hitler, literally Mussolini and literally Os Oswald Mosley. But then a lot of Gen Z kids are far way off the deep end on the other side. It's very polarized. And that's what this kind of messaging does. Right? So I want to add that in there too. It's very eerie how these children's shows and these characters are used to push these narratives and to prop up politicians, to prop up science as a religion. Science has truly taken the place of Christianity in this nation. And it's evil. It's evil. That's what it is. So, there's that.